Hi, it's Nell and welcome to my garden. Today I'm going to be doing some planting and I want to show you how to plant a perennial. This is Salvia Gregii Sparkle and I'm going to get it in the ground and show you how I do it. Okay, so I have the plants all spaced out and I'm going to dig the hole. This uh, garden was worked over last fall. It's now spring, so it's not too hard to dig and to work in. And what you basically want to do is dig the hole about as deep as the, as the root ball, but you want it to be about twice as wide so those roots can easily grow. Okay, so the hole is dug. There were a couple of big pieces of root in there, which I cut out. Perennials have a little bit finer root system than do shrubs or trees, so you want to make sure that they can really um, spread their roots easily. And the plant that I'm planting, the salvia, is really well watered because you never want to plant a dry or a stressed plant in case you don't follow me or haven't seen anything on my channel. I live in Tucson, Arizona. It is uh, early April and it's already pretty warm. We haven't had any rain in at least a month and a half, so gonna give it a good, gonna give it a good drink and I'm gonna let it all absorb in. If you live someplace where it rains a lot and it's pretty wet and the ground is wet, you don't have to worry too much about it, but I moved here from California and we always watered we always watered the hole just to make sure it was all nice and moist. Okay, so the water is going down a bit and I'm going to put in some good local organic compost. This uh, whole bed was compost in the fall when the plants were taken out. So I'm going to put some in there and then I'll also put some around when I plant. If you like to use a fertilizer, you can. I'm much more of a composter. I like to build the soil up. And I'm going to put a little water over the compost to make sure that it's all nice and moist because you want to give your plants a good start in life. Okay, to get the plant out of the pot, it oftentimes comes out if you just sort of squeeze the pot and you can just pull it out that way that that works. But if it's really tough, what I have done many many times is you just gently step on the pot putting a little bit of pressure on to loosen it and that worked 99.9% .9 of the time for us and then you can just pull it out like that and you can see this see the root ball here isn't too bad it's not too badly pot bound so I'm gonna just kind of loosen the bottom a little bit to loosen up the roots. Just kind of, kind of give them a little goose here and there. And that is all you need to do. Okay, so now I have the plant in the hole and I want to turn it and look for what I think is the good side for here. That's how I want it. And it's up a little bit in the hole, about a quarter of an inch, but that's okay because I'm going to compost this bed. I'm going to put about an inch of compost after we get the drip system all straightened out. So it's okay if it's up just just a little bit. So now I'm going to start to just fill in with the native soil because you want to use a lot of the native soil. And I'm just going to put handfuls of compost around and I'm going to layer it that way. I don't want any of the roots, these, these roots in here, just the, the soil. And again, I'm going to water as I go. So I have it almost all filled in here and now around the top few inches, I'm going to go ahead and put in some worm compost. I really love to use worm compost. It's one of my favorite amendments besides besides the organic compost 
and the cocoa cloth. And I'm just gonna continue to fill the hole in. And there you go, all set. And the root ball will be covered by the compost when it's uh, all put on beautifully. And that is all you need to do. And now I'm just gonna give it one good last watering. So that is how I plant perennials. I planted the Gallardia the same way. I would plant a Penstemon that way, lavender, on and on. It's not hard to do, it's just a little bit of prep goes into it and just make sure that the plant is well watered and the hole is moist before you plant. I'm obviously planting these perennials in spring, which is a good time to do it, because the selection is good. Uh oh, there, uh, there's my cat Oscar. <laughs> the selection is good, and it's not too terribly hot yet, so they have a little bit of time to adjust. But fall is a great time to plant perennials, just as long as it's uh, with enough time before the first frost comes. Because the fall is great, because fall or late summer, because it's warm the evenings are getting a bit cooler and the plants can adjust fine but if you plant your perennials in this in the summer in the heat which you can just be sure that you water them very very well but as spring and fall are great times to plant and this cheery perennial here is gallardia sunset cutie i planted it about a week and a half ago or so and i planted these from a one gallon pot perennials grow fast these will probably be grown out by the end of the season in, in September here. They'll be a great size. You can also plant them from four inch pots. I've done that many times and they grow, grow fast that way too. If you want an instant border of something, you could always do five gallon, but you don't need to do. Don't need to do that with perennials. They are the pretties of the border. They really fill everything in and bring a little life and color. So I hope you have found this video about planting perennials to be helpful, especially if you're a beginning gardener. It's not that hard to do at all. Just follow a few steps and you will be successful. And be sure to check out the blog post that goes along with this. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. And now let's get out in the garden, plant some perennials, and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I have a lot more videos coming your way, so be sure to come back. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Bye!